Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video we're going to be covering Visual Studio Web Development. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So just before we get a better look at Visual Studio, what exactly does it do and what is it? So Visual Studio is an integrated development environment, which is an IDE and it's been developed by Microsoft themselves. It's primarily used for software development, including web development, mobile app development, desktop applications, cloud-based services, and plenty more. Now, Visual Studio provides a comprehensive set of tools, features, and utilities to streamline the entire development process, making it a popular choice among developers. Anyway, looking through the key features of Visual Studio Code, number one is the code editing and debugging. Now, Visual Studio offers a powerful code editor with syntax highlighting, code completion, and refactoring tools, and it also includes robust debugging capabilities for identifying and fixing code errors. Next one is project management. Now, Visual Studio allows developers to organize their code into projects and solutions, making it easy to manage and maintain code bases. Then you have version control integration. The IDE seamlessly integrates with the version control systems like Git and Team Foundation Server, and that enables team collaboration and code versioning. As well as this, there's testing tools. So Visual Studio provides a suite of testing tools for unit testing, automated testing, and performance profiling to ensure the quality of the developed software. You've also got IntelliSense. So IntelliSense is a code completion feature that offers intelligent suggestions as you type, making coding faster and more accurate. You've also got the likes of extensions and integrations. So Visual Studio supports a wide range of extensions and integrations from the Visual Studio Marketplace, allowing developers to enhance their IDE with custom features and integrations with third-party tools. Multi-language support is there as well. So Visual Studio supports a variety of programming languages including C Sharp, C++, JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, and more, making it versatile for developers working on diverse projects. We've also got the likes of cloud development, so Visual Studio integrates with Microsoft Azure and other cloud services, facilitating cloud-based application development and deployment. Anyway, looking through the key features of Visual Studio Code, Number one is the code editing and debugging. Now, Visual Studio offers a powerful code editor with syntax highlighting, code completion, and refactoring tools, and it also includes robust debugging capabilities for identifying and fixing code errors. Next one is project management. Now, Visual Studio allows developers to organize their code into projects and solutions, making it easy to manage and maintain code bases. Then you have version control integration. The IDE seamlessly integrates with the version control systems like Git and Team Foundation Server, and that enables team collaboration and code versioning. As well as this, there's testing tools. So Visual Studio provides a suite of testing tools for unit testing, automated testing, and performance profiling to ensure the quality of the developed software. You've also got IntelliSense. So IntelliSense is a code completion feature that offers intelligent suggestions as you type, making coding faster and more accurate. You've also got the likes of extensions and integrations. So Visual Studio supports a wide range of extensions and integrations from the Visual Studio Marketplace, allowing developers to enhance their IDE with custom features and integrations with third-party tools. Multi-language support is there as well. So Visual Studio supports a variety of programming languages, including C Sharp, C++, JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, and more, making it versatile for developers working on diverse projects. We've also got the likes of cloud development. So Visual Studio integrates with Microsoft Azure and other cloud services, facilitating cloud-based application development and deployment. So this is more or less what the development tool looks like. You've got everything on your right side. So this is the Solution Explorer, uh, as you can see. Now you can place it anywhere you'd like. Top, bottom, right, above the screen. So I mainly have it on my right side. So I just like to keep it here. 
and then actually just uh, bring it down a little bit so it's not too out of the way. So you have your error list on the bottom, so that's where you can diagnose and do your debugging. And I have actually created a website uh, for this. So it's already pre-built, everything's there. Uh, it does use ASP.NET, that's what I have used in order to build the site. Uh, now, of course, it does have your, I'll just go ahead and show you now, but it does have that IntelliSense. So as I mentioned before, it has that capability of code suggestions with IntelliSense. So that's how it helps developers write code quicker. So this is actually a CSS uh, page. I've actually got it listed here for the ones that are CSS. So we have here the actual, so you can actually mix the CSS with the HTML. So that's what I have done. Uh, this was just a little bit of an error. So I do have my own CSS there. And of course the ASPX is the ones that's technically HTML. So I've got brands, cart, checkout, home, login. So this is mainly a e-commerce site. And the main master is what keeps all of the pages together. So this is my index technically. So I've got everything there. So this is the front page. That's more or less how it looks. And I have used some JavaScript on this as well, like so. So it's more or less here. I've got the cart there as well. So what we'll do is we'll sample it. We'll take a look or take a closer look at the site itself. So if you want to get the site started, you'll see on the very top there, there's IIS Express, Google Chrome. There's other ones that you can use as well, like Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge or AVG Secure Browser. So there are other ones to pick from there. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll go with the Google Chrome and we'll go ahead and click that. Now that'll then open up our actual site. And this is where we can debug as well. So if we want to uh, try to do some debugging, we can do so. So we'll go ahead and say break all. So, okay, currently no code has been executed, so that's okay. Test it, okay. So we have zero errors, zero warnings, zero messages, and we've got the IntelliSense. But anyway, this is the site itself. So it's all in working condition. What I'll actually do is I'll have the side by side just so you guys can see it. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Now we're gonna go ahead and check on the login. I'll just move this back a little so it's a little easier to see. So with the username, let's have a look. So we do have a error code on login. So the validation for sp.net attribute placeholder is not valid for text box. So that's what it's saying for that, but it is functional. So it's okay so far. And let's see, we'll go ahead and try to log in here. You just need to find out the actual username and password. Okay, so I got the uh, site up here, as you can see. This is how it looks. Now, I just wanna showcase, uh, so we've got the actual title of the website there. There's the local host, uh, it's home.aspx. Uh, so this is just one of the potentials that you could do with using uh, Visual Studio, which is great. Now, this is the site I, uh, I made there. Uh, you can see I've got a cart, I've got a search bar as well. Um, so this is more or less just an e-commerce site. Uh, just a simple one. So it's not perfect. Uh, I've got a working cart there so that you're not limited to the choices you could do. It's quite literally building a e-commerce website or any site of, of some sort. So you can see the process that goes behind it. So this is the uh, actual basket of the cart. Now, if I open up the Visual Studio and then we take a look at the cart, you can see the background that it uses for 
the code. So I, I could have, of, of course, cleaned it up a little bit, but that is just a quick way to do it. Let's just quickly code that up. Right, if we take a look at the CSS for cart, you can see that that's more or less how to do it. You've got the checkout hover. Uh, you got the button for checkout, uh, button for hover. So if we go over it, you can see that it, it does hover. And we do get a different color. So if we take a look at the colors here, So that's more or less how to do it. And then if I close it off, you can see clear basket or checkout. And this is the stage where I can add my first name. I can enter my last name, email, address, things like that, and then hit order. And you can see that I do have like a required field. So you have to enter all of these parts before you can actually place an order. But overall, there is quite a lot that you can do on the Visual Studio. Now it's more or less the same as Visual Code, but of course uh, with this one we're using ASP.NET in order to create our website. And this of course was the final product for it. So it looks well, uh, we've got everything we need, like the pages, we've got our pics, uh, we've got even our profiles, so we can log out if we want to. So that's how that works. And then we've got our own basket as well, so we can clear that basket. So. I would say using Visual Studio would be a great tool to use as a beginner as it swings you into the rope of coding your own website. So I would highly recommend to check out this software development tool. So there you have guys, that is the Visual Studio web development tool. Now it is available in different editions like Visual Studio Community, which is free for individual developers and smaller teams, and Visual Studio Professional and Visual Studio Enterprise. Now each of these offer different levels of features, capabilities, and it is widely used by developers worldwide, especially those in the Microsoft technology ecosystem. So anyways, uh, I would highly recommend to check out the development tool, uh, try it out as a beginner, you have all sorts of different features and compatibilities as well. So it's one of the reasons why you should give it a go and see what you guys think. But anyways, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. We'd like to know what you think. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.